My name is Kelly Kulhanek. I'm a senior molecular environmental biology major from San Diego, California. Um, I find Rosalind Franklin really inspiring, the way that she was able to stay confident in herself and break into a field that was previously really dominated by men. She was actually the first person to kind of discover the double helical structure of DNA um, with her x-ray crystallography. Um, and then Watson and Crick kind of like stole her idea and they got all the credit, but now she's credited with a lot of the discovery, which is nice. <laughs> uh, my name is June. Um, I'm a fourth year studying political science and um, I'm originally from Los Angeles. One of the big feminists I uh, have a lot of respect for is um, Abigail Adams. Yeah, in the colonial times and the first um, couple hundred years of American history, there wasn't that much of a fem feminist movement. So she kicked it off with that letter that she sent to her husband with her pleading for, um, for women's rights for women's suffrage and of course it gets shot down but during those times she attempted that and I think she is truly one of the first uh, feminists in United States history but she just is overlooked a lot so I just have a lot of respect for her. Uh, my name is Isabel Brandis. I'm a second year and I'm studying business and public health and I most admire Eleanor Roosevelt just because of all her work for human rights and what she did with the United Nations, and that's really something that I aspire to do and work towards in public health and business um, going into healthcare policy. So I would love to work in the same field. I'm Rebecca Demo, majoring in political science with an emphasis in American politics. Um, I am a fourth year and I'm from Rancho Cucamonga. Dorothy Irene Height is a prominent uh, civil rights activist. Um, she hasn't received a lot of recognition in history due to sexism, but she was at the forefront of a lot of, um, of hard-fought victories in the civil rights movement. She offered counsel to people like Eleanor Roosevelt and also Lyndon B. Johnson. My name is Edgar Gatter. I am from San Diego. I am a fourth year econ and urban studies major. The person that I admire most is Catherine Bauer Worcester. She fought for social rents, which is 30% of our incomes being what we should pay for our affordable housing. It's how we define affordable housing today. Hi, my name is um, Bridget Bolaños. Um, I'm a second year um, between sociology and social welfare. I admire Frida Kahlo because for her era, she was really advancing her way of thinking. Um, she was really liberal with her ideas and sexuality and um, social ideas about communism. So, yeah. My name is Blaine Musto. Uh, I'm a fourth year political science major. Uh, my hometown is Bakersfield, California. Sacagawea was a really important figure in exploring like the, the western half of the continent. You know, she went on the Lynn Clark expedition and she had a pretty central role in helping them navigate and stuff. And so I feel like she's an important figure in our, in our national history and uh, had a really interesting story and stuff. And yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Selena. I am a fourth year student studying urban studies, and I'm from Manhattan Beach. I would say Maya Angelou is pretty inspirational, um, the way that she used artistic performance to really make a statement. As a feminist, using poetry as her tool, I think it's something really powerful that made wavelengths internationally. To just state one inspirational woman is a challenge in itself. You can go on and on because there's so many amazing women in history.